So coming into this game, you, the cast were confident. Key players were out on international duty. Are you satisfied with the scoreless draw, or do you think we could have played better? I think we played very well. I think it was really good. I think uh, uh, I'm not satisfied because we deserve to win. I think we played better than them. I think we had a lot of chances. Uh, some of them were very close, like the two at the end. And uh, but I'm very extremely proud of the of the team. Uh, everyone played really well. A lot of players uh, that didn't play starting the game from so much time, and so some of them they were a little tired at the end because they didn't have the 90 minutes because they normally play maybe 20 or 25 minutes, they come in and everything. And uh, yeah, I think uh, good job, good job. And uh, that this tie is, if we do a great job next Saturday, it makes next Saturday uh, win a four points instead of a three points. So that's, uh, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Uh, um, the, the future is beautiful. Do you think that the key players were out and then the young players, do you think they took that position for the key players? Yes, they did very well. I think especially, I want to say Ralph. Ralph was fun, phenomenal. Ralph was phenomenal. I'm really happy because it's also a guy that is very, I would say, I love the guy, like uh, personally. So, and he went through a phase this season where not playing, you can be down and doubt yourself uh, a lot. And today, playing instead of Mr. Andre Andres Kubas was like very good. Bilal was really good. First start in MLS was uh, was really really good. Uh, Tristan, that I don't know, played like two and a half months ago last game because he got, he got injured and everything. Uh, really good again, and uh, you know, uh, I was impressed. So Damir and Levante. So Levante has been injured for two weeks, and he pushed, pushed, pushed because we not having Brian, not having Fafa. We needed a striker there, and Damir didn't play for a lot because he had a lot of problem tactically, defensively. The work that they did was stoic. And uh, so, guys, today was, was amazing. Unfortunately, we missed uh, the cherry on top with, uh, with the goal. So, you know, that's, uh, I'm really happy. We played really well. Havani, I know Matias was making these runs higher up the pitch last week against Austin. And did that inspire you to play him as a wing back? Or are you, are you trying to create the inverted center back position? No, 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 no. He played wing back in the in the game that we played in uh, in LA in the in the League Cup, and it was a good pair, him and Bilal, uh, that uh, they they ate Bianca, Buanga basically. So that's uh, like uh, um, I th I thought that today we needed a little bit more structure, and maybe help defensively sometimes. Um, and so I think he did. Uh, he did really well. Like, uh, um, yeah, the, 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 the his performance was really good. I think we were starting to lose a little bit the moment who press who goes with him and Sebastian at a certain point. Sebastian was pressing too much wide, and Matias staying too much. So that was one of the reasons why we made the change and we put it here. Also, to also because. We wanted to see how he is, and uh, and uh, and he did uh, he did really well. So you know. Speaking of the press, how do you think um, you guys press, especially in that first half where really almost good. all the play was in their half? I think we I think we did really well. They the only ball that was because Jimmy Maurer is very good at pinging that ball behind behind the, the line of the midfielder. The only couple times there were this ball, it was behind our midfield. And we defended very well, not, not getting greedy to try to win the ball because they would have played be over us. But we had to defend in the box. The only two, three times happened like this. So I think we, def we defended very well. Then from minute 55 to minute 70, probably, 
we were a little tired for those 50 minutes when they hit the post basically and uh, they it was harder for us to go to get there and uh, but uh, then we did with the fresh legs when we put the, the we put the new guys the four new guys fresh guys Nico Daber uh, um, uh, Eddie uh, Sam we we were aggressive again and then in the last five minutes we tried to I tried to for two, three, one guys I never played before, <laughs> and uh, that's uh, with Stu as a number ten in behind. Unfortunately, we almost scored, so that's good. Uh, Vanny, uh, I wanted to talk. Obviously, you talked a little bit about there uh, with uh, about Eddie here, but as we saw on the sideline there, you're giving him a lot of instructions before the game. Clearly, trying to settle him into this, the side. What did you make of his performance and how he settled into this team after only being here a couple of weeks? I think you had a glimpse of what he can do. Like a couple of times, when one v one, is much more power, was much more powerful than uh, uh, than Farfan and going there for the cross. He still doesn't know. Uh, the nuances of his learning on, you know, a couple times he was bringing the ball too much inside and and almost creating himself a problem instead of playing and going. That's what we want him to do. But uh, he did, a, he did, I think, uh, really well, and he was, uh, and he brought the what what we needed, the energy at some point, because of course, on the wide side the energy was going down because Matthias and Ryan they were doing a job. They had to do the most aggressive players and also defend the line. So, you know, it's hard to play 90 minutes in their position. And then with uh, really good performances from Bilal and Ralph and even Daber almost got those goals. Stuart yeah. made an impression. Sam, does that give you a bit of a headache going into the <laughs> next few games? Or is that more of a blessing than a curse a given the, the importance like, of the uh, matches? You know, having good players is, not, is, is never a problem. And we have 20 starters now. That's pretty simple. Like, uh, you know, the guys that start today, we, we miss like uh, uh, six players, uh, plus uh, Bjorn that, that was on the bench just almost almost as a support because he had a little bit of a problem during the week with the knee and the ankle. And um, so, you know, we missed seven players and we, we dominated them. We dominated them. Like, that's what happened. And, uh, you know, guys, we're doing really well so more than a headache a little bit of a pressure to be honest i feel now a little bit of pressure because we need to deliver we cannot hide anymore we're going there we want to be in the top four maybe even more so that's uh, because that's uh, the quality of this team fanny uh, i think sebastian burhalter probably really did a very good job on yeah. set pieces and particularly when he chose to to go at goal with the free yeah. kick on the corner of the box but he also played in some really good corners really good free kicks he was deputizing a lot for you know ryan in yeah. that sort of role uh, uh were, you, were you pleased that he he offered something that gives you obviously more things to think about when because of yeah, what you asked of him today because uh you know dallas especially has been always a team that uh, killed us on set plays offensively and defensively and uh, this year, it was offensively. We did very well in Dallas, but we considered the goal. But they have uh, uh, Tafari and Ibeaga. They are two of the most dangerous people on the air. And of course, they are also very difficult to beat them uh, when we attack too. And we did very well. We had a lot of chances. We had a lot of chances. Like uh, they didn't go for like a millimeter, like you know. And. Uh, and I think we did really well, and that and uh, what helped a lot was the also the deliveries. Seb today had three or four delivery on set plays, extremely good. And when you when you cross the ball like this, even if the first contact is not that clean, then the ball stay there and everything can happen. So that's uh, was really good. Yes. Hi, Vanny. A lot has been talked about all the new players that are coming in to make way for you know the international call-ups and whatnot. But you still have experience, and you still had a lot of experience on that pitch. How much do you rely on players like Alessandro Schopf uh, or a lot of these other players that maybe don't get a call-up to their national side, but are here well, game in, game out? Actually, they didn't call everyone because it would have been a problem. But uh, you know the the guys that norm, the, I call the, the more experience, uh, even some of them are young, like Alessandro, like Sebastian, like Ranko, like Matias, Yohei, 
that are that are helping a lot yeah and damir damir too damir uh, uh, is damir is like kind of a big brother to everyone you know like he's an example to everyone and you know being so humble like he did today and you to to work defensively like he did not being in the condition to attack and everything that was like fantastic so that's uh, that's um, yeah a, a really 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 good message from the kids but also from the older let's say older or players more more experienced player yeah one of the things that Rankova mentioned here was that this is now three games with three clean sheets in a yeah. row, including the Canadian Championship. Uh, has anything changed with the back line defensively, or is it just things are clicking right now? Uh, so, uh, we always do a um, uh, quarterly review with our data team, video team, whatever. And right before the game against Pacific, we to see how our, the real season, not only the, the standings, the real season. We have six objectives. We are hitting all the objectives. The only one that we weren't hitting was the uh, uh, expected goals conceded. We were a little higher than what we want to do it. Okay, we set a we set a, a, a target really high, but okay, we are. So maybe subconsciously, because uh, we saw that we tried to do it. That big difference in the three games. We play three five two offensively and defensively. We play with one midfielder more. What does it mean? We press a little less with uh, up front because we have only two guys and three the ball needs to go wide and and, and tax on the side so it means that uh, there's less uh, ball that we win high on the pitch the more ball that we win in the middle of in the middle third but uh, we're one midfielder more so probably it's it's easy air to to defend uh, better uh, when we are when you're in a 352 that that happened last year too also when when we switched to 352 now, it doesn't mean that we're going to keep playing with the 3-5-2 because, as we, you guys said before, we have a ton of very good offensive player and we, we will try to play everyone in. And uh, But uh, I think every game we have now the chance to play with the diamond, the 3-5-2 or the 3-4-3 flat, with the midfield flat. So that's there's a lot of... Uh, we play five minutes with the back four today. So that's, uh, that's a lot of... Uh, 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 options that uh, I think uh, now we need to choose the right one every time. So, you know, it's tough for the coach now. <laughs> hey, Vanny, um, have you been surprised by how quickly Bilal has kind of adapted to MLS League's Cup level? Because, of course, you don't end up in the second Bundesliga by accident, but this is still someone who's had some major injuries and, you know, it's been a chaotic last few years. For yeah, him. so Bilal, i got to be honest. When he was in preseason, we thought that this he would have, he would have get minutes immediately because he did very well in preseason. He played well and we said, okay, in the rotation is gonna be there. Then he was very uh, unlucky. He got he broke his eye, he broke his um, hand, and uh, so he was out. And when you're out and you don't play, you can go down a little bit in terms of condition. In terms of confidence, because you haven't played, and he didn't play in his spell before when he was in Germany. So even his attitude to the training, not his attitude, his, uh, 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 I would say, how his resulting of training was a little bit down. And we say, OK, maybe. Yeah. And then um, uh, we, I took a kind of a, not a bet, because I saw him in preseason. It was really good. I said, hey, you are going to play in three weeks against the LAFC in the in the um, in the league's cup and that li literally changed because that's you change the mind of a player that sees that he can do something and he w and he became again the Bilal that we saw in preseason even a training so that was reliable and everything so today when Bjorn was like 50 50 we didn't have any any doubt that Bilal plays so because that's uh, and he did very well Coach, what did you see in Tristan's performance that stood out for you tonight? And the comment, I think he got knocked in the head there in the second half. He got knocked in the head, I think. I don't, I don't know what happened. I think twice. One, like, I don't know what, like and he played like, uh, like uh, 2023 Tristan, the 2023 label of Tristan. So uh, not guessing, playing in the zone, 
boom, defending, winning a lot of balls, relying a lot on his technique when he has the ball, being uh, an extra attacker on the change of point of attack. So he did really well. You're missing Brian White. Has he cleared protocol? Will he be available? I soon? know. I is is finishing. He's finishing up the thing. So hopefully in the next couple of days uh, he's gonna go everything, everything, and he's gonna be back. Uh, next week but we'll see as 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 always i said concussion uh, are so dangerous guys that uh, we don't have to rush anything it's okay to have brian one day after one day <laughs> one day on the next day and not today if he, if you're gonna be more sh one million percent sure that he's fine no he's not with the team but andres kubas's shoulder do you have an update on his injury i know that the kind of I don't know, dislocated, relocated, the classic thing, you know, the classic, uh, you know, Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon. <laughs> and uh, so that's, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see when he comes back uh, and uh, when he comes back and uh, and we, we we will evaluate. As usual, it's, uh, it's not uh, a good exercise, in my opinion, now focusing on the guys that and not here when everyone's going to be back we focus and we'll see and whoever's going to be ready to go on uh, friday will be chosen to play saturday thank you thank you hey benny um as you said uh, another good performance you guys dominated yeah but at this point of the season you have more away wins than you do wins at home yeah true w what do you put that down to uh two things uh, the first one, uh, it is the way that we play and now we are that dominant that uh, uh, we would probably, we have to be better in finishing our chances in the final third when we are dominating and not having, I would say, a classic like a big number nine that uh, can get crosses. We need to arrive always we threw the play there and it's hard sometimes to to score a goal that's i think the the first thing the second thing i think is uh, we've been naive in a lot of games we've been naive in a lot of games that we could have won here and i think the excitement to try to win the games uh, made us lose the game i remember the game against the galaxy uh, 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 the game against houston we haven't been naive we have been I don't know, other word in English. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't our fault that we lost. And um, the, the game uh, uh, when we, uh, against Miami, where we went in a way that uh, uh, the first half, we gave away the first half. So I think that this season, uh, I, I agree with you, we've been good at home and fantastic away. In order to mark that historical uh, objective, that is the 54 points, the record of points of I'm going to say everything today, so it's okay. The 54 points is the record, the points of the of the franchise in in MLS. We need to start being very good at home too. We have five games. I think we have we need to have the uh, the 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 confidence the 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 will. The, re the hunger to win all the five games that, that are home from now till the end. Six games, even the more important one. Do you have a word for that Houston game in Italian? Yeah, no, because you know the, the league they know they know Italian, so they can they can translate they can translate. It's better like this. They are they already. I'm very happy that they make me dress better, so and that's uh, good. Uh, like you said, you guys are in a good run of form, uh, heading down towards the end of the season. As you said, though, there's no place to hide. Is making the playoffs enough for this team, or are your sights higher than that? It's enough. Uh, it's the minimum. It's the minimum. Top seven is the minimum. Top top seven is the minimum. Is uh, is a, is a sufficient season, in my opinion. Top seven. Uh, top four is a good season. That's uh, that's what that's what I think. Like uh, we showed today, that we're there. We can win games and go. So we need to be there and. Boom. I put another uh, card there. We need to win a round in the playoff because I'm, I'm, I'm fed up that, uh, that we lose at the first round.